Darrell, that's a heartbreaking way to lose a game. Um, how did you reflect on that and the goal? Yeah, we need a little bit more now, a bit more calmness in our defending. Uh, they was obviously pushing more and more men forward. We're, we're dropping a little bit deeper. Looked like a little shove, to be honest with you, in the back. So I feel a little bit hard done by in that aspect. But other than that, the lads have defended superbly for 90, 94 minutes, shall we call it. So uh, very disappointed. Um, but uh, one of those things, we can't feel sorry for ourselves and pick ourselves up quickly. A shove on who in the goal? I thought it was a shove in the back of Chris Lyons, to be honest with you. It looked like uh, a little nudge right in the middle of the back. But, uh, hey, listen, sometimes they go for you, sometimes they don't. Scumford were asking a lot of questions without really troubling our goal too too many times. And, you know, a little bit more calmness in, within our defending as a group. We could have we could have seen it out. You could see how devastated the players were after that game. I guess it was a, a different sort of defeat maybe to, to the recent ones. No, certainly. And, uh, listen, we... We, we, we've caught, copped a lot of flack over the last few weeks, which is which is fair enough. But let's get things into a little bit of context at the minute, shall we? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's always a difficult place to manage because we have a support base, which is top eight in League One. We're a million miles away everywhere else to be a top top ten team in this. We're trying to overachieve. This group are working very hard. We're working very hard to keep improving the pitch on and off the pitch. So we, we'll keep going as a group. We'll put the shutters up. We'll take the flak. You know, we want to get winning football matches. Certainly want to get back to that. And we'll be back on the training ground working hard to make sure that we can able to do that. But if things, you know, if people are going to think automatically that for three and a half years we're just not going to go through bad spells and lose four on the bounce and whatnot. I don't, I don't get the mentality sometimes of, of, of some. Yes, we're disappointed. Yes, I'm frustrated. I'm angry. Lads are hurting. But everybody's trying really hard to improve things. But let's put it into context sometimes. Fans were fantastic, by the way, today. Absolutely fantastic. Got really behind the boys. I'd like to thank them up for travelling. Disappointing to go in and with uh, with nothing in the bank. In terms of the performance today, was was that more the sort of thing you've been looking for? Well, it's a for? better defensive performance. You've got to put them together, though, haven't you? You know, we, we, we had one or two half chances and a few set pieces, but we, we wasn't as open as we have been. Uh, and there's a reason behind that, and I make no apologies about it. I mean, I'm five players missing. I don't cry about it. I don't moan about it. I don't whinge about it. Nobody wants to tell me that there's five players missing, but uh, we just we just crack on with it. And I thought the group today put the bodies on the line, defended superbly. Just need a little bit of nous in the in the last few minutes to see the game out. I mean, is it understandable you had to sacrifice a little bit in order to be better defensively? It is, it is, because it's a massive confidence and mentality, you know, we players are human beings, staff are human beings and we feel it and, and you've got to be careful and you've got to, you've got to work extra hard to turn it round, which we will do, make no bones about it, you know, we're a few points off the top, top ten, so we've got our own game against Wimbledon next week, so we're back on the training ground having a tough week, hopefully get one or two bodies back as well, which would will, which will be good, um, and hopefully no problems coming back from international duty, but uh, no. Just disappointed we come away with nothing. Has that defensive performance, and particularly young Rollin and Tom, has that has that partnership given you some interesting thoughts? It's done. Uh, it was it was very well, very strong. A little bit of uh, you've seen a little bit of miscommunication at times, uh, but I, I think sometimes that happens. And uh, but they, they've done well. They're still learning the trade. You know what I mean? You've got Broadies on pittance come in taking a chance from the arm and you've got rolling on peanuts as well so you know my strike foot uh, my centre arms there cost 700 quid <laughs> what more do you want between them and it's like you know they, they come in they're learning they're going to make mistakes you know unfortunately we're not going to be part of the big hitters uh, we, we've got to work hard to try overachieve to, to keep in the top half of league one are um are your thoughts how far ahead are your thoughts with this group of players? I mean, are you looking at well, January? So the, or? the pressure's always on at this club, isn't it? And I, the, the expectations I put on my players are sky high. Uh, the pressure I put on myself, nobody can put me under more pressure. Um, I think sometimes you, people need a reality check, and uh, as well as having fantastic supporters, like I say, the top eight support base. Sometimes you've got to take a step back, take the bad run, take it on the chin, take the flak. But bounce back, but you know, some people need to put it into a little bit of context on things. Yeah. And uh, as you say, next week um, you should hopefully have some of those players back available. Certainly, certainly, your top goal scorer. <laughs> Be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, you know, Tom Lockyer comes back. So we, you want the group together. We're not a big squad. You, these internationals. I mean, every international breaks fell on the away game. No, I haven't harped on my mind about that, have I? Do you know what I mean? So we've gone to Scunthorpe, Northampton, obviously, where we did well. And then we lost the first game, I think it was Bradford on the telly. So you, do, you don't want to be losing squad members when you haven't got a big squad to, to deal with anyway. So it'd be nice to get the group together and get one or two injuries back. 
is, is Billy getting anywhere close to rejoining so. the group? Rehab stepped up really well, so uh, we're hoping to push him on a little bit more next week. So we'll, we'll see whether he can okay, make contention for next week. But hamstrings can sometimes take a little bit longer than we, we thought, which is which is obviously disappointing because he's a he's a key to our club going forward as well.